Hey, Adam, what are we going to do for the cold opener? Uh, dude, I'm not ready for this. Are you sure? Like, yeah, it's been a hot day at work. It, it is, but, like, we need a cold opener. Well, Tim. Are you ready? Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for a brand new episode of As the Buckle Turns. I'm Adam. I'm Tim. And this week we have uh, I, news. Yeah, and I have a complaint. Oh. I hate that photo that you put up on me. <laughs> you need to go with the Captain America one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll find that one and put that one up with you. Okay. <laughs> You're like, you weren't expecting that, were you? No, no. no. I, w- I was expecting, you know, for you to be like, no, I have a glamour shot one that you yeah, need to you use do. instead. <laughs> no, You're Captain America all the way. Okay. That right. works so much better. And that would actually fit more in line with my ch- my channel on YouTube. <laughs> okay. I'm far more goofy than that. <laughs> so that fits somewhat more like perfectly with me. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the news of this week. Uh, rumors and whatnot. So... I'll get this one, because we're going to get this out of the way. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to drag this one out. Well, it's going to be all you then. <laughs> um, they have a new way of getting Roman Reigns cheered. Not only are they going to do the whole Brock Lesnar leaving with the, for UFC. Oh, he's not just maybe leaving. No, he is leaving. Oh, of course. There's, there's, so there's a difference. No, they're going to be bo- they're booking Ro- Reigns like a cool heel. So he'll get cheers. <sighs> no, unless you turn him heel, he's not gonna get um, over, and by over, he's gonna get booed even more. Yes, because that's what we want to do. No, you we're... you need him to reject the fans. Yes, that's but... all you need from him at this point. And he won't get cheered. He'll get booed even more. Yes, for a very long time, and then maybe we'll actually go like, oh wait, all right, okay. fine. He's okay. Okay, he's turning it in. Basically, do what you do with Triple H for yeah. the longest time. And that will get him over, and he can eventually have him a baby face. But he's never going to be the face of your company. No, not at all. No? Nope. No. Uh, so, with that over with, let's move on. Uh, I really wanted more to happen there. Why? I, I don't know. Move on. Like, you know, how we're seeing how Bobby Lashley and Roman Reigns are going to be the main event. Yeah. Roman Reigns is again in the main event. Yeah, of course. Um... A championship, a, a major men's championship is being, any at this point, yep. any championship is being defended at, at, men, at Extreme Rules should be the main event. Yes. Instead, it's a number one contenders match. I don't even know if it's a number one contenders no, match. No, it hasn't even been fully announced if, that, if yeah. that's what it's going to be. Uh, but no, it's, yeah. Oh, and it's going to be predictable. It's going to be yeah. ten minutes of... Bobby Lashley beating up Roman Reigns to really? Roman Reigns turning around into a Superman punch spear or spear Superman punch. Are you one, sure? two, three. You sure? Only 10 minutes? Yeah. I, okay. It could be a four minute match too. No, it's going to be like tw- like 30 minutes of that. Um, give, a, give us the real swerve and make it seem <clears throat> from people who know the WWE formula at this yeah. point. Give Roman Reigns way too much offense. Yeah. And for people to be like, oh, he definitely, you know, Bobby's going to come back and it's going to be Bobby and and uh, Brock at SummerSlam. And then just have Bobby lose. The problem is you can't let Bobby look, you know, weak. Well, like they've already been doing. Oh, I know. I know. But, okay. Uh, speaking of Extreme Rules. Yes. Uh, apparently the results have um, have been leaked. Uh, no the... championships are changing hands, apparently. <laughs> Great. Now, some of them I'm okay with. Okay. But, like, really? AJ retaining? Okay, I'm cool well, with that. Well, we knew that because they're planning on keeping that on him for the... Because he's on the cover of the w, um, W2K19. Yeah. So I mean, I'm you fine. could still take it off him and have it back on him yeah. by the time the, the game is released. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you dropped it to Rusev... Yeah. Great pop there. Have him lose it back to AJ by um, at SummerSlam. Yeah. It's a short reign for Rusev. He still won it. Right. That will get him over. Um, he's a champion. Mm-hmm. AJ's also now a three-time WWE champion. Right. And you can still do the whole thing. Um, 
But who knows? Uh, but yeah, Mela over Oscar again. Again. It, see, no. Like for me, the pay per views were always about where things could change. Yeah. You know, maybe the uh, major championship, you know, the heavyweight championship didn't change hands. Yeah. But you'd see the Intercontinental, the U.S. title, the women's title, the tag titles. Something else changed. You could have it change. The best, the best part was when you had these major championships. Not necessarily the Intercontinental title. Cause that happened a lot. And we essentially, honestly, just happened on Raw a few weeks ago. Yeah. But was when you had a world championship change hands on Raw or SmackDown. Yeah. That was... Uh, it, even worse is we're not seeing championships change hands at, at all. Yeah. Like... It's we, rare. We, WWE, we joke about your product becoming stale. Yep. But literally, you're making it stale now. Here's the thing. Don't say anything can happen in... I mean, yes, there's been things that happen like that in the, within the, a year. Oh, yeah. AJ beating uh, Ginger... <laughs> oh, wait, I said his name correctly. You, you said it right. Ginger. Ginger, thank you. Ginger on SmackDown overseas to become WWE Champion. Yes. That was, yes. But you can't, because that one thing happened doesn't mean you can say anything can happen. You have to have a lot more stuff. Yeah. I'm not saying every week like the Attitude Era. No, no. That's no, a little no. overkill. Yeah, I mean. But... There's a reason why you stopped doing that, because it became a disaster for the for um For everyone involved. Yeah. Especially that hardcore title. The hardcore title was the one thing I actually actually worked for. But yeah, it slowly became a comedy act. Well, yeah, when you have a broom wing the title. Exactly. <laughs> no, I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> but, I mean, come on, it's like Bobby uh, was it when he was alive. Joey, uh, what's his name? Who's dead? The guy who Joey Styles. Yeah, no. Yeah, Joey Styles. When he was alive, he won a hardcore title by pinning no. someone. Um, Joey Styles was was an announcer. Not Joey Styles. Uh, Joey, what's his name? Who's dead? The ghost of Joey. Oh, Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan winning the uh, hardcore title from someone while they were literally sleeping. Um, I don't know what promotion this was for. He was like, he walks into the room and he puts his hands on someone and the ref is like, one, two, three. And they take the belt. And it was like a... No, Joey Ryan's the famous dick wrestler. Yeah, he was like, he was for one of those things. Don't, I don't know what, know what promo, promotion. I mean, I, yeah, the ghost of Joey, right? He's but he wasn't of, in. No, not in, w, okay. Not, not I thought in, you were saying he was in WWE. No, 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 no. I don't know for another hardcore title somewhere else on the independent oh. scene. Um, it's kind of like a little comedy there, but I mean that's what Joey Ryan is, so it fit perfectly into yeah. his belt. But like, yeah, when you have a broom, or better yet. One um, of the Godfather's hoes winning it. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. But, and it, oh well. What's the next on the list? All right. So next up is there's a new Ring of Honor world champion. Yeah. That didn't happen at their greatest in the world, best in the world pay-per-view. No, no, no. This happened uh, like at just one of their tapings. Yeah. It was basically a rematch. Of the main event, well, uh, Best in the World, but it was a fatal four-way instead of a triple threat. Yes. So, the new champion is Jay Lethal. Yes. He was um, in his second reign. Yes. He posted a video, uh, well, through Ring of Honor, uh, talking to him after, he's, after he won that night. And how he came in, you know, to see, you know, if his name was going to be up for a match that night. There was no match. So, he grabbed a mic and he went down. And he was declaring himself into the hunt for the World Heavyweight Championship. Okay. Champ Dalton Castle comes down and accepts him. Right then and there. He's <laughs> just like, yeah, let's do it. Tonight. Boom. All right. Cody comes down, demands a rematch. <laughs> uh, and, oh man, I forget who the fourth was in that. Squirrel. Oh, the squirrel came down and also demanded a rematch. So management allowed it to happen. And Jay Lethal walked out the champion. Yes. I was just like, what? I was like, especially since, you know, Saturday was the, the Ring of Honor show. Yes. And then Sunday, like, was this like was the, Tuesday. 
Yeah. I was like... Really? I was like, I, all right, what just happened here? So, no, it was interesting. I was not expecting that. Um, but, eh. It'll be interesting to see what it is. I know he, Jay Lethal said he wants his title, his second reign to last even longer than his first one. I mean, he is... He does, his first reign was the third longest in Ring of Honor. Yeah. Behind uh, Daniel Bryanson. So, yeah, Daniel Bryanson. Yep. And uh, Samoa Joe. And it's like the longest in the last decade or so. Yes. When he, when he was a champion so, a few years ago. So that's, like, really cool. Um, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't go that route. Why not? Because it's too predictable in my mind. But... Who knows? It's Ring That's of Honor. because you you are so the WWE product became so ingrained in you that you don't accept that someone else could sell to could sell a story in a match that would make you believe and then cheer the guy retaining. I'm not saying it's that's not the thing. Like I know Ring of Honor would do a good job with the story wise. I'm just saying over the long term of actually break, breaking his own record Why not? is predictable. No, it's, it's too, not. It's too predictable. Um, personally, I think he should have a shorter reign um, and drop it to someone like Squirrel or Cody. Actually, nope, it wasn't Cody. Um, who beat um, Jay Lethal for the title? Uh, was hold that, on. Was that... Um, that was uh, Brian Dan uh, um, Daniels. Oh, hold on was a it second. Was it Christopher Daniels? I got, I got to get to the page. I know, you have to go through the like 15... There, there were like four pages that I had yeah, to go like through. 15,000 pages to go through just to get to the actual list of people. Okay, let's see. Who did Jay... Well, who defeated Jay Lethal? Yes, for the title. Uh, previously was Adam Cole. Oh, that's right, Adam Cole. Yes. For his third time. Right. That's right, I forgot about Adam Cole. It was right before he... Is he dropped it nope, to... Nope, it was his second reign. It was his second reign? Yep. I thought it was his third. Nope, that anyway. was his second. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, he he dropped the belt to Daniels. Yeah, and then it, it, when Adam bought it, uh, Adam won it back from Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, okay. That's his third. Oh, okay. That's right. I forgot Kyle O'Reilly won it, and then he dropped it. And then Cole dropped it to Daniels. Christopher Daniels? Yes. And then Daniels dropped it to Cody. Cody, Cody, Cody dropped, dropped it to, it to Dal Dalton. And Dalton dropped it to J. Jay Lee. Okay, there we go. We learned something today. There you go. <laughs> I knew um, Adam Cole was a three-time Ring of Honor champion. Yes. I just didn't know... He's the um, only one. Yes, I knew that too. I just didn't know... Um, I thought when he beat um, Jay Lethal, it was for his second. I didn't realize Jay Briscoe has two reigns. Really? I thought he yeah. had one. Totally. I mean, 18 combined defenses. Okay. Damn. Um, but yeah, more than Brock Lesnar. No, number one for defenses? Yeah. Samoa Joe. No surprise. 29. That's, um, he can, held it for 645 days. How many does Dalton Castle have? Uh, Castle. Ho hold on. Let me, let me go ahead and find him. Yep. Seven. That's more than Brock Lesnar in the last year and a half. I thought it was like ten. Brock Lesnar? Yeah. Let's see. He won it. In, at WrestleMania, his first defense was against Samoa Joe at Great Balls of Fire. <laughs> he defended it at some, um, SummerSlam against, and then um, whatever their September one that year was for Raw. Okay, so that's three. He then defended it. He wrestled at Survivor Series, but did not oh, defend he it. Oh, didn't defend it. But he defended it at Royal Rumble. Yep. And then he defended it at WrestleMania against. <laughs> so it's five. Five, and then. He will defend Six, it. Six, seven. Oh, he does right. He defended it against, um, great at greatest Royal Rumble. Yep. So that's six. So he actually has seven. He, yeah. That's sad. Yep. There should be more. I know. That Dalton, is really sad. Dolan has won the title. Won the title back in December. I, exactly. So. He has. That's fine. He, he's actually. It was 197 days. Yeah, he has a. He actually has an actual, <clears throat> what you would expect of someone winning it back in December. Right. Not Brock Lesnar, who's had held it for over almost a year and a half. Yeah. Oh well. Okay. But yeah, it was an interesting surprise. Uh, it'll be interesting what they do with that. Um, yeah. But let's move on. 
All right, next up is, ooh, um, the second match for All In has been announced. Oh, my God. When I saw this match, I'm like, wow, they're really going for this. Yeah. Um, first of all, it's expected. This, the first name involved is totally expected to be part of this. Marty Skrull, the villain. Yes. He's a member of, of the Elite. He's a member of Bullet Club. Of course, he's going to be part of the show. Yes. It's the second name that really raises eyebrows. Yeah. He'll be facing Okada. Yes. Okada, the most reigns. What? No, not most reigns, the most title defenses of the IWGP Championship. Yes, because they... They, in one in one reign and in well, it's so weird because two. well, it's so weird because they every time you defend it, yeah. it's a new reign. So it'll be like the sixth reigning with six reigns, and I'm like, but it's over this run. Why do you get? Si-? It's no, just the way that the because, translation works. Well, I think I think it means the exact same thing as we say. It. Yeah, it's, it's six defenses, defenses, but they say reigns because it's a different the yeah. way that the translations over. Um, which caused the confusion thing. Oh, he's like... The first time I saw it, and I was like, uh, 11 reigns? And I was like, he's lost and won the belt back that many times? That's and not a look, good champion and right then, there. And then you look at it, and it's like, oh, it's You're defense. like, oh, it's, that's, that's how many times he's defended it. Yeah, so it's defense. But he has the, in one reign, he has the most yes. title defenses. And does he have the overall as yes. well? Yes, yes, he does. So this is going to be an interesting match. Oh, God, yeah. Um, uh, also, uh, if you caught the Okada and God, he's an oh crap, I forget his name. He's with um, it's the kid who won uh, the G one tournament. What, was it the G one tournament? Zach last? Saber Junior. Yeah, Zach Saber Junior. Yeah, that match between the two of them yep. was a wonderful technical masterpiece and showed that Okada can work in a technical match yeah. and at the same time show off his power match. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this... And then Skrull, he's yeah. another Matt. He's another technical wrestler. But he can also do some f- flips if he, exactly. if, you need, if he needs to. If he's in there with a flippy guy... He does. He, he, he does can work shit, it. He, he can work it. He knows how to ground them, but he also knows how to do some of his own. Oh, yeah. Um, It's not a big part of his game, but he can do it if he needs to. It's there. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. And it is cool to see a junior heavyweight go in a match with a heavyweight. Yeah. Especially oh. one of the guys who was... It's Okada. Come on. So it'll be interesting. This just kind of goes to show, like, after the announcement that it was going to be Cody versus Nick Ellis for the NWA title. Or whoever. Yes. It's whoever it Cody is. versus someone for the NWA title. Cody versus the I did, um, the NWA champion. Let's right. put it that way. Um, and most likely will be Nick Ellis, but we don't know that for a fact. But you never know. Could be. Um. So, but that was a game that, oh, wow, we're, we're expecting titles to be on the line in this show. We have one. And it's not a Ring of Honor title. It was a NWA championship, which is great. Yes. Um, one thing I'd love to see if they could get do is have one other NWA championship defended on this show, at this card. Because they stripped, vacated all the titles um, Billy Corgan did. Except for the, uh, the oh, NWA heavyweight championship. Right. So what I'd like to see them do is crown one other champion from the vacant lot. If they know what they're going to be doing with them. I think that'd be kind of cool. Okay. But we'll see. Uh, but yeah, this just kind of goes to show you that <laughs> this show is going to be f- a big show. Um, and the fact that it's st- we know it is going to be streaming in some way is going to be awesome. Yes, I know. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, also, uh, coming up in is the uh, G1 Special Tournament. Yep. Uh, and it is Kenny versus Cody... For the IWGP I championship. I told you this when we were outside. I had, it, I had not seen that it was confirmed any place. I, I saw like after like he came out the next day. I saw like yeah, it's. Or it was yeah. confirmed, you know, a month ago, and I don't remember it. It was like confirmed the next day that it was going to be those two were going to face each other at the G One special. For See, the that's title. why I I did not remember it because it was announced that long ago and it hasn't really been talked about ever since. You should just take my word for it, because I'm always right. No. <laughs> just no. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, but So that'll be interesting. That's going to be an interesting Oh, that's going to be a great... Uh, what else do we have left on the oh, show? Oh, and also, uh, at All In, yeah. uh, it was kind of confirmed. So, 
Cultaholic put up a, a new news episode today. Yep. And in it, it was, I don't know if it's just the way it was said or, or not, but it seems to be that uh, Rey Mysterio is confirmed to work on... Oh, yeah, at, All In. At All In. So the, the contract rumor going out there with WWE is a lie or the fact that it is still true and he's just finishing he's like, he's got these other things booked he, beforehand he said i'm not starting until after this date yeah i am and doing this other show if you do not like that i'm doing this other show well then I'm i, not, I can not, continue working on the indie scene because yeah. i make a lot of money yeah um i do want to come back but like we're going to like i'm doing this other show yeah so it'll be interesting to see it is but the rumor was going out that while Ray had to sign a deal for the um, him to be part of 2K19. I, I think that's just a, a merchandising deal. Yeah, it was probably like they signed him for that. But they, um, the rumor was it was a separate contract that he recently signed to actually work for the company. But Yeah, well, that, that rumor is being squashed. It's being squashed, but it could be true. It's just it's that we, being squashed by Ray's camp. I know. It's being squashed by a lot of things, but it also could be they're not hearing back because they don't know it. Or it could be that WWE wants to be the ones that actually announce it. Yeah. Which means that they'll wait until every, much like with Ronda Rousey. Yeah. They will wait until every T has been crossed, every I has been dotted. Yeah. uh, The, you know, blood stamp someplace. I don't know. They're going to wait for everything to clear. Yeah. Then they're going to announce it. Yes. And we all... We all knew it was coming. Oh God, I I do want to see Ray come back and have also, have some great matches with people that are out there. I would love to see. I want to see him come back. I want to see him not on any of the main rosters. I want to see him on two hundred five live. Ah, uh, I don't. I don't know how I how I I'd feel. I'd like for him to be the one person that brings the cruiserweights back to back onto Raw. It's not gonna happen. Triple H has decreed they're there. I know, I know, I know. But that's why I'm saying, like, use him on 205 Live for a program. Oh, yeah. Not for, like, this entire, like, thing, but, like, like three months. Yeah. A program with a few people to raise their state, raise 205 Live. Yes. And then you bring him back to the main roster. Oh, God, yeah. And personally, the first person I want to see him face. Yep. Finn. Oh, yeah. I want to see him and Finn. Oh, yeah. Like, as soon as possible. Then I want to see him and AJ. I'd love to see Finn make the crossover as well to 205 just for a program. I, just for a program. Yep. And said, because I, he is under 205. And just to have him say, I dominated the junior heavyweights out there. You guys aren't even... Ma- you guys aren't even on this level. <laughs> yeah, so I'm and, here to and prove... It, and therefore, the program purely can be that someone needs to rise up to this level. Yep. You know, and the first time it's, you know, it's Rey Mysterio comes in. Yep. Then Finn comes in. Finn and Ray have a little have a have a thing. Finn takes over as champion. Then somebody else needs to step up to yeah. that. And, and even better is still have Finn come out on Raw. Yeah. And with that championship and be like, yeah, I won it no, on two hundred five live. No cruiser race are challenging for him nope. on there. He's just he's on Raw he's as got well. It. Um, but that I still say put him back. Put him in on with either show. Yep. But the entire Bullet Club needs to be put together, and factions actually need to come back. I know. Even though Vince hates them. I know. But, oh well. Okay, so what do we have next on the list? Mm. Is mm. that the rumor of that it's getting stronger? Yes. Yes, it is. So, we broke. We talked about this last week, it was, I believe. Maybe two Probably. Weeks, maybe maybe yeah, two weeks ago. Uh, that there was a rumor going around, or at least that Becky Lynch has been pushing for a women's tag team championship. Titles. It's championship. Titles. I don't give a shit. It's a championship. I mean, it's a title. I didn't but... say championship belt. I just said championship. Oh, the okay. Because the belt right, holds your right. pants. But it's a championship. It's a championship then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm calling it a championship. <laughs> um, but anyway, to be added. But she's even said that there's not enough talent on another show to have them specifically for one show. So she was pitching the idea of one that could be on any show. Yeah. She was even pitching the idea of it going into... NXT, yes. so you would never really know where the the champions could show up on. And the, oh my god, there would be unpredictability suddenly within the WWE. You know, following that whole anything could happen. What? But the rumor is that it's apparently getting stronger. Not that it's actually happening, but the rumor is getting stronger. So we may have 
a women's tag team championship. I would love it. I, I'm totally down for it. I'm down for it too. Um, but here's the thing. Let's actually first let's get find out if they're actually gonna be doing the tag team, the cruiserweight tag teams. Yeah. Because that's been a rumor that's kind of died down. Because I think they just. I, I think they would really need to expand the 205. Oh, roster. I, no, that the junior could, heavyweight, the cruiserweight roster. They could do that, but I mean, I think honestly, it, I think it runs into the problem that TNA had a num uh, in two thousand eight nine ish when they added when the, they introduced the women's the, tag belts. I know, and they didn't have the roster to make I it know. a reality. Um, I also I think the reason why they're they're holding off on it is because they're going to do a tournament because people do, will do a tournament, right? But, and we just had the cruiserweight tournament. Yes. So I think he wants to build, um, slowly add up. He'll add some roster here and there. Um, Lilo Rush is coming in soon. Yep. Though he's being pitched as a solo star, but they'll build it up, and then after sometime maybe like going into next year's WrestleMania, is when they'll maybe they'll do it. Well, personally, you know what? Screw it. Bring the cruiserweights back, but. Only allow uh, Triple H to book them. <laughs> no, never gonna happen. I know because suddenly that that would be the best segment on Raw. <laughs> and Triple H Vince McMahon like, what? No, no. I'm Roman is supposed to be the highest rated stuff. It's yeah. like no, he's the lowest. Actually, everyone changes channels whenever you have him on. Now that you mention his name, and they turn the channel. <laughs> There's gonna be a great match going on. You bring up Roman Reigns. It's boom, bam. I have no need for this right now. If you could turn, somehow mute commentary on the TV, so all that, commentary would be muted. Also, yeah, another key thing. Get rid of the third person on your commentary team. We only need two. I know. but so, so Oh, this, and get rid of the constant branding. I know. You, you don't need to say everyone's full name the entire time they're out there. I know. Mm. Because Vince thinks his audience is stupid. Oh, God, yes. Kind of like a, a place I work that thinks it, that they're working out there, that they don't know that the trash can is also part of that. Oh. Planet Fitness? Yeah, yeah. Like, they didn't realize that they were in a Planet Fitness, and then the, the garbage was Planet Fitness garbage. Oh, you have to have everything labeled. Oh, God. <laughs> if you don't have it labeled, it's not right. And this is what happening when well, this is what happens when marketing people <laughs> think that they're also, like, actually able to run a business. It's like, no, 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 no. Marketing, you stay in your department. No, no, no. This is what happens when um, the people running the business don't um, don't put any restrictions on their marketing team. I mean, come on. We have a guy, a person who came in, was hired to build a program to for new hires. And when our man, my manager went, had to be in the interview and in the, the conference going over this, yeah, it was really the first 20 minutes was basically her justifying her job. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I can say this on this podcast because no one, they're never going to hear this. The sad part is someone's going to hear yeah, this. I know. And they're like, Tim, you're fired. But all I've I'm like, okay. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. The name has already been muted. I know. So... The, the place that you work at, the name's been muted. Oh, it's going to be, are you ready? Yes. No, nice. no, it's actually, there's going to be no audio at that moment. I think you should just put, are you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> because that's how you mute me, remember? Well, meh. Sometimes. All right. Well, so that does look like the women's tag titles are going to become more of yeah. a reality. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm game for that. Yeah. Um, we have the money in the bank. Why not have a... Uh, a oh, women's tag, tag, tag title. Division. And if you don't have enough women for it... Have well, it go over multi-shows. But here's the thing. Remember, there's a big announcement for the women's division coming soon. Exactly. We don't know what that is, but... Could be moving all of the women's division over to one show. That'd be uh, There you go. Then yeah. you have... Then you, then you, you could put the tag... There, uh, give them a tag title as yep. well. Maybe even a secondary title. Oh, yeah. Eventually. The secondary title yeah. can, can wait. Yes. Um... You still building the um money, women's money in the bank? Yes. So, which is kind of a secondary title. And yes, you don't defend it unless you have to. They already have a built-in secondary title. Technically. Bring both of those belts over. Yep. Technically unify them. Yep. But do it on a show overseas. Yep. So that way there's controversy when it comes back because the loser is like, "No, Blah, blah, blah. And they go, oh, you know, we, you were in Europe during that? 
you receive the European belt. <laughs> and there's a women's European belt instead. And you're just like, ha, I'm still a champion. <laughs> I lost, but I won. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, bring but... back bring back the South American title. <laughs> <laughs> no. See, I think it would be cool if they actually brought took a former men's championship yes. and turned it into a women's the, championship. The European championship. But that will never happen under Vince McMahon. I know. I don't know if that would even happen under Triple H. I, I could see it. I could see him doing it, but at the same time, I could see him not. But anyway, mm. let's move on to our top story of the night. So there's been rumors going along for year, basically ever since the network launched. Well, and and the, and it was known that the handshake agreement was actually happening. Yes, but the, is this rumor has been going along that there have been some possibly indie um, content, indie wrestling promotions yes. being aired on the WWE network. Right. And there's at one point it was to the point where it was a done deal. And then Vince McMahon changed his mind. Right. Like, it was like they were about to get ready to upload it, apparently. Wow, okay. In the, in the, in the, next, in the next big upload session that they were going to do. And Vince then changed his mind. It's not WWE. You can't have it on the... It doesn't go on the network. Ah, right. We don't own it. We don't... Yeah. So, what we've known about a handshake deal with a few other prom- indie promotions. Right. One of the big names is Progress. Yes. Now there's a rumor going out that apparently WWE may be buying progress. Which, would, I mean, I've been kind of hearing that as well. And I mean, it's, but it's been a little while of those, of that rumor floating. Yeah. But I mean, also the, the rumor has been coming back up to the uh, other shows like C, what was the uh, handshake deal that they have with? Some, oh, it was a smaller company than progress. Yeah. yeah that they have a handshake deal with, um, going on the network as well progress going on the network yep. and all that i mean and this is all because of uh world of sports wrestling yes uh is coming back from itv yeah because now there's a because first of all raw and smackdown are not doing well in ratings on sky tv at all why am i not surprised it, if they're not and the buzz around world of sports is getting so big that WWE's actually a little afraid of this. Yes. So, mm. and they, we've already heard the news of the, um, NXT UK. Yes. Being launched. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, get, guess who uh, World of Sports did pick up recently? Who? Stu Bennett. Who's that? Wade Barrett. Oh, yeah. I knew that. They just picked, and they picked him up recently to, uh, I'd, in an unspecified role. Yes. Most likely a authority figure of some sort. Probably, because he has not been wrestling. No, not for a while. Um, that would be interesting if he came back as a re- for, I, it, for it. I don't really see him. It's a ten, uh, ten episode. Yep, they're doing special. a uh, much like uh, Lucha Underground. They're going to be doing season. Yeah, basically. So it's like a ten episode season. Um, would be interesting to see if they did that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, we know WWE. WWE is launching NXT UK. Yes. So, I don't. I, I say that it would be easier for WWE to buy Progress. Yep. And then change its name to NXT U- UK. Yes, that'd be interesting. Or, even better, have the the title of the company. Yep. The promotion NXT UK, but their show is called Progress. It'd be interesting. See. I don't think that way you're it. keeping the old name around. That w- then they could just call you know NXT, give it a, you know it's one hour show, which doesn't truly have a title. It's yep. just NXT. Yep. Give that its own name. Yep. I don't think they're gonna do that. But, I don't know why. But anyway, it'd be interesting to see what, if this comes to true. Um, we we'll can actually get some another company stuff on the network. I like the idea of them not buying companies to get it on the. Pr- the network yeah but it is what it is i i i still think it's part of the whole nxt uk thing i think that's what they're doing oh i wouldn't be surprised at all um i think it's going to be it's going to compete with world of sports yeah i mean if you do that because then you have a whole boatload of talent that you just bring over immediately right um into there and then if you want to add in what to keep one of their titles yeah that's a hey or if you take the women's, it's the progress. NXT, it's now the, the NXT UK Women's Championship. Exactly. Um, 
the tag titles could be in the NXT UK tag titles. Yeah. They already have a lineage behind them. Yeah, I mean, they're, all they're going to do is just put a new name on the... If, they they're, if, if they are going to take progress and change it. Yes. Uh, they, they already have built in everything there. Yeah. But only time will tell if that's yeah. what's going to happen with that. But that's all we got, folks. What? What? Wait, what's the time at? It's a really short show. Is that 30 some odd minutes? Yes. I have a lot of glare from this angle. Yes, it's 35 minutes. All right. Wow, short show. Short show. Really short show. show. Okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let us know down your your thoughts on what we talked about today. Yes. Uh, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Make it chime. Join that notification squad. Yep. So uh, you know when uh, we post new videos. Yeah. And Give us a like, of course. Obviously, it's made at the end of this um, video dash photo. Dash it's a podcast. Podcast. It's a podcast. Fine, we'll go with podcast. Um, give us a thumbs up. Yes. And Adam? What? Fuck, I don't have a... Would he come back?